Porsche Design Tower started as an idea. Gil challenged our firm to do something that hasn't been done before. The concept was we wanted the key to your apartment to be your automobile. We really wanted to change how people live. The concept of taking your car to your apartment is relatively harmless when it's ground floor. But if you have an apartment in a Porsche design building, you should really be able to take your car to your apartment, no matter which floor. 60 stories and every apartment is treated the same way. This was quite a challenge. You have a situation where they get picked up from your elevator in your car. Fully automated. You're fully secured from the entrance to the building into your apartment. It's like the bride taken over the threshold. You're getting lifted up and escorted across your threshold. The experience of sitting with Porsche Design and the design meetings has been absolutely amazing. These guys think on another level. Mr. Porsche himself was looking for that combination of modern and timeless ever since the beginning. High quality, functionality, and of course, high level aesthetics. And I think with this building, we've really captured all of those elements and realized them in a very exciting way. We wanted to make sure it's an iconic building. For that reason, you need a simple shape with a lot of sophistication in the surface. And the glass does that for us. We came up with a cylindrical design. Every time you walk into a room, the room gets wider because you have a curved surface. And more importantly, all glass. A lot of these units have like 90 feet of exposure. 90 feet of glass in an apartment. It's like unheard of. You have this unlimited view. You don't realize you're even in a room. You just see out. And of course, the ocean is what it's about here. Or the west, the sundowns are magnificent. It makes you feel like you're floating on air. It's still not really a sky home unless you have a backyard. So we created these oversized balconies that in some cases represent up to 25% of the unit. In order for us to really create our home in the sky concept, we said, well, we need at least a plunge pool on the terrace. We sat down with engineers. We calculated the dimensions of the pool equipment, the weight of the water, and figured out a way to structurally hold it up all throughout the building. We created an area on the balcony where we have floor to ceiling glass. So you have that indoor outdoor feel, but basically you can be outside without having to deal with the wind on windy days. You'll have a place to rest and relax privately, but if you wanted to get to know your neighbors and spend time with your friends, you can go down to the main pool deck, which is tremendously large. Even those who come late from work who want to go and dip in the pool with some of their friends can go to the west side swimming pool and see the sunset every day. That's guaranteed. What we've developed here is the true definition of what a home in the sky is. To actually take a dream like this and turn it into reality, that's quite spectacular. A home is a place that you can come and go as you please without have to, having to ask for assistance like valet my car, etc., etc. We wanted to create privacy, and we did it in a way where this is ultra secure, so people can just come up to their apartment, get out of their car, walk three steps into the home, and be home. And if they wanted to take a dip in the pool, they're at home also. This is the creme de la creme, particularly of Miami, but probably right up there with any building in the world. Of all places in the world, if you do something extreme like that, Miami is the place for it. This is it. It doesn't get any better than this.